Welcome to my little bit of London, Kings Road and Sloan Square. I thought because you've asked often about coming to this part of town, what there is to do and where I go shopping, that I would give you a guided tour of my favourite parts of this part of Chelsea. I grew up here, probably in, if you go to look at the end of that street, turn right, I was there from age 15 onwards. Before that, I was off Cadogan Garden. So I really love and know this area well. I have been to the Royal Court Theatre, a lovely famous London theatre, and next door, a restaurant I go to a little bit called Colbert, which is owned by a lovely man called Jeremy, and he used to own the Ivy years ago before somebody called Richard Caring bought it. But he also has the Wolseley, another favourite restaurant on Piccadilly. This, in Sloan Square, used to be WH Smith, and I can go up this road and say to myself, quite a few times, this used to be, this used to be. But luckily, there's also some great new stores. So if you're visiting London for the first time, you live abroad and you're coming here this summer, or you live in the country and you haven't been for a few years, or you live in London but haven't been in this part of the town, you might find some new bits of information. I'm just going to do Essentials Antwerp. So this is a fun store from Antwerp. We're going to come in here for a second because I'm really um, hot, hi. But they have lots of dresses that I bought this summer and I love it as a shop. It's fun, it's bright, um, it's stuff. It's a great store if you're kind of teenage daughter, mother shopping. So I take Lila here and we look together and we buy, buy one or two things. This is a store, Peter Jones. From the outside, looking a little bit like it needs its windows cleaned and it's a bit tired. But if you're in the area and you've rented something, so a place to, to live, you'll get nearly everything but food in Peter Jones. You'll get stuff for the household, you'll get stuff for the kids, you'll get electronics. They also have clothes, but I think they're clothes if you like a more classic style. And they have a beauty counter, so if you're not coming up the King's Road here to do a Trini London appointment, and you partake of other brands. They have most of the other brands there, like Estee Lauder, Laura Mercier, Chanel, all that lot. And they have a really nice sort of apothecary section. Along here, you've got a few makeup brands. They've made this a little bit of an area. Um, but generally, there's certain tranches of the King's Road which I go to a lot more than others. So a few years ago, a new development opened up called the Duke of York Square, which probably opened up about 12 or, no, 15 years ago. But in the last, seven or eight years, all the shops inside this little square are full. So it's worthwhile coming into this first little bit off the King's Road and there's a little piazza. So in the summer, it's just gorgeous. There's three different restaurants you can go to here. Some people go to Polpo, which is Italian, and it's got, you know, nice little menu. I've eaten outside there myself. Manicomio, Manicom, Manicomio is another one but those two you have local London girls going to but this is my Zara so whenever lots of you ask about Zara this is the one I go to the most and I think of all the Zaras in London Zaras are graded I don't know if you knew this I found this out a few years ago like one two or three or four tier store so this is a tier one store there's only two tier one stores in London and it means they'll have things in here that they don't have in any other store, which is why sometimes you might say to me, oh, I never find that in my store, but you'll always find it online. So just looking here, because I can't stop myself from glancing, even though it's sale. Oh my God, we've got to come back later. Oh my God. Oh my God, we'll come back later. Anyway, we'll have to come back later. Look at those sequin trousers. Great stuff, easy to navigate. Uh, they have men, home, kids they have everything there so I love that Joseph is a store that I've been to on and off for years started many years ago by Joseph Etigu and he was a wonderful man who really brought lots of different fashion brands to the UK so they now have their own collection and they in this store they just have Joseph essentials and they're kind of classically cut pieces price point is less than a proper designer, but still they're not, you know, a pair of trousers is still going to be at 200 pounds and a jacket is still going to be about 500 pounds. So another quick store we're going to go to, it's a little bit far away, um, Massimo Duty, they have a little store here. It's not that big, but it's got quite nice things. Free People is a store Lulu, you were telling me you love. This, if you have a teenage daughter again, or Lulu is just out of teenagerdom, she's sort of in her early 20s, but you know, cool, fun, 
teenagery clothing, relatively designer boutique looking, but not hugely, hugely expensive. Okay, so they'll love that. I have to show you this little store because you might know, or I don't even know how to pronounce it, Ortigia, Ortigia, but they have, how do I pronounce Ortigia? How do I pronounce it? Ortigia, Ortigia. So just the branding is beautiful, but you can buy things, you know, those, look at that, really pretty gifts. I know you're going to England to buy something from Italy, but 16 pound soaps, just exquisite, exquisite packaging and divine smells and presentation. And of all the kind of soap luxury brands um, and bath brands, it's my favorite. Um, so I love that. Aesop, Aesop, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is where I get Probably in this store, beautiful store. You know what I always do is I come in here and if I feel I'm hot and sweaty, I'll come in and I'll just, I'll just wash my hands. Um, but they have the most beautiful things in here. One of my favorite is a little, um, they have a little granulated soap, which I'm using now. And we have it at Trini London when um, the COO doesn't tell me off for spending too much money on soaps, because I think it's so much nicer when you wash your hands that you just have a little bit of um, exfoliation calm, peaceful, and then they always have here, so naughty of me, but I'm just going to show you, they always have some drink, so today they've got some little mint drink, but you know when you shop, it's really important to chill out the pace, if you're going to spend a whole day somewhere, just think I'll stop here, have a little sip of water, somebody might come up, say have you tried this, but it's a wonderful shop to be in, it's very calm and peaceful. And now we'll go out again. Okay. Many of you might know Kos, and I always get my favorite white shirts in Kos, which is here. Um, they have 70% off, um, but they never let me film inside. I, that's the shop I'm most thrown out of whenever I'm trying to do my films, but I still like the shops. This is another store that's beautiful. It's not just in London, called Tushan but it has the most exquisite coffee table books, amazing coffee table books. I think it's my nicest store to just go in and look at them. Uh, and if you have, you know, you want to bring a present back to somebody and you, ha you have a lot of weight in your hand luggage or luggage, you could go there, but otherwise it's, it's heavy. Then we've got here, if you want to kind of lovely food. So let's say you're home from home and you're American, you're staying in a property around here. Partridges, which is a food shop very, very chic food shop. Um, they will always have an American section. So Lila, my daughter who loves American things, whenever we want to get those terribly snacky, really bad for you American foods, we go in there before she goes back to school. Jigsaw, which I've been, I've shopped in Jigsaw for 20 years. And I used to get my suits here for work. And it's got a mixture in Jigsaw. It's a, it's kind of a slightly, classic British brown with a twist. It's the higher end of the high street. In this store too, they have a, few, a little boutique section. Um, it's always a very calm place to shop as well. I quite like that when you're on holiday, you go to lovely calm places. There's always space to shop, the staff are wonderful. And if you don't want outrageous extreme fashion and you want safe, nice things with a little, little Englishness about them, great shop. Okay, so. And other stories, it is a three floors of, um, of the H&M group. And if you haven't been in there before, I've done a few things on my feed from and other stories, but if you imagine H&M is this point and other stories is here and cost is up there. They're all owned by the same company. Nike, this is a kind of quite fun, cool Nike. I've occasionally got uh, trainers in here that were difficult to get. It mainly is just women and trainers. This is one of Lila's favorite shops. She'll grow out of it soon. But it actually looks like it's an American brand, Brandy Melville, but it's Italian. And they have the American flag and the Swiss flag. So I just don't know, but I did go to Italy recently and there was a store in the local in Como. I staggered, Lila found it. She was so excited. If you want a snack, we have uh, Pret-a-Manger, which is uh, in lots of countries now around the world. Itsu does great. Japanese and Japanese inspired food. I even go there, even though I don't like sushi because it will have lovely noodle dishes and it's really great. Muji is 
where I get all my boxes. I'll just quickly show you now, actually, because I, I just love Muji so much. So I love, like this, these I use a lot, um, and they have little compartments. And then I use these for things. I use these drawers. You've seen those uh, when I, you know, color code things. I use these long ones. There aren't any I don't use. It's a terrible addiction of mine. And, and um, another one that my CEO, whenever I want to get things from Muji for the office, he's like, Trini, really? But they last forever. The Perspect's fantastic. And they just look incredibly stylish. And you can find everything. What they also have, which I like, if you've bought a few things, but these I buy to go inside my luggage. And they come in small. So small is that size, medium is that size, and large is the whole thing, which is probably, large is about the size of a small roly suitcase. Just, you know, if you're going somewhere and you can't unpack, let's say you're going to three locations, you can't pack and unpack easily. Having all your clothes in this makes life so much easier to travel. Love them. So moving up, we're now probably a third of the way up the King's Road. This, um, I only, came to this store recently. Can I quickly show you, Lulu? Yeah. But I always found it difficult to find cheap bikinis for Lila apart from Topshop. And then we came in here. But they have really cute little bikinis. And they're not expensive at all. They have those little things for your feet. It's an Italian brand. But great. Um, really great. Love it. We've got here a little thing called Paul's Patisserie. It does nice coffee. But if you really like your coffee, there's probably other places I'm gonna show you at the end of the street, like the best coffee shop in London. If you like relatively healthy things, but still, you know, it's quite fun, the atmosphere. Joe and the Juice, which is expanding rapidly around the world. They have um, juices, they have this chicken and avocado sandwich. The boys are very cute inside, they always flirt with you. Um, and they just take forever to make the drinks, to be honest. French Connection, occasionally I find great stuff. And they'll do lovely long dresses, great white shirts, and nice leather. Um, so worth looking at French Connection. It's a UK brand that's been around for, you know, 30 years. Their home furnishing is an amazing department, actually. I love their home furnishing. M&S, classic. So they're in there, the clothing's not brilliant, but the food is delicious and they have a nice little skincare brand there too. Waterstones is our English bookstore, it's a lovely bookstore um, and we're now at Jubilee Place. Okay so now here we are, you can see the outside Lulu. Doesn't look as pretty as Elm Place did. Why don't we go in the elevator? These two girls are coming up too. Um, come in the elevator girls, they're gonna go in the elevator. I bumped into these girls earlier on the Kings Road and they're coming to have a makeover. Hi girls. Because I'm gonna show you a few little restaurants near Trinity London, so that you can think, oh, that would be good. And, and we could go there. So we're going up second floor. It's really convenient. And it's air conditioned, so I'm gonna just get some water and then we'll continue on our journey, okay? In you go, straight ahead. Oh, brilliant. Straight ahead, so if you do come for an appointment at Trinity London, you booked it in. This is actually a rather full day today. We're just doing a little, hello ladies, good morning. Hi. We're doing a little, what is there to buy and see around the area. So this is the Trinity London studio. Lots of ladies have booked in. This lady I met earlier on the street before. So let's do all three of us together. Get mummy in though. Great, You've made fantastic. Been away for two weeks. Oh my god. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your time here. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. So, this is the office. And um, if you come from the point, you can also wait there because we're a bit busy today. And you, it's good to book because it gets a bit, it gets a bit full. And you've just had your makeup done. Yes, I have. Fantastic. Okay. Did you have a good experience? Yes, it was lovely. Wonderful. Had you been before? No. You haven't. I follow you. So, yeah. I've been there. Uh, interested a friend of mine came here so yeah it was perfect how great Very nice experience excellent you look lovely and glowy yeah, and yes, just soft nice. yes. yeah that's what we want nice we don't have two piled on you look great you look better better in in real oh I, terms, I, 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 you get darling that's very sweet you say i think i'm just so flush and walking down the street and are you off now to have a nice time down the king's road yes, or I'm going to do it at, uh, retail therapy wonderful I go and get in my car. she's telling me about a shop i don't know plan de sucre no, Panda Soup. Oh, the one next to the old Metro Bank. Yes, yes I know. Okay, that's a very nice good. Bikinis. Oh, nice yeah. bikinis. You see, we're learning, for, we're learning from everybody today. So, 
This is, if you want somewhere to eat and you like Japanese, you could consider stick and sushi. I eat the cauliflower, I eat the broccoli, I eat the artichoke, I eat the ceviche, which I do actually, that's the one Japanese-y thing. This is a really nice sunglass shop. I think I said they're called Jimmy Fallon and I said they were German. So in fact, it's Jimmy Fairley and they're French, but some of those, uh, I have a nice pair of glasses, which I don't know if they're here, that I got from here, but I do love the shop and I love the fact that they do quite a good price compared to Specsavers, which might be like 400 pounds. So they'll do sunglasses with prescription lenses. They'll fit for you for 140 quid, 129 crowns. Just, I think it's a very good, um, mid between the kind of really throwaway glasses and the kind of optician where you go and suddenly you have a huge bill. I get my socks here in Tabio, some of my socks, not my fork socks, but if I want to get fun, like they have very fun um, uh, Lurex socks, I'll get them in here. This little tranche of the King's Road, some shops open and close, quite a lot. Sandro is that classic you know, Sandro and Marge and Zadig and Voltaire and the Copples, these are all kind of teenagers, not on a budget brand, but they're sort of fun brands, French kind of work. Um, Anthropology is over there. This used to be a wonderful building called Antiquarius, and it was full of antique markets. It was this amazing little cave of things and I think if you wanted to find something like that in London now you would go to Alfie's on Church Street off Edgware Road or you might go to Gray's Antique Market which is off Bond Street. We have to cross here because I got two of my favourite shops and we're going to stop. My favourite coffee shop is called Hagen so we'll go in here now. When they say we just iced the best coffee in town, iced coffee Lulu huh? You don't have coffee? Okay, I do. Iced coffee. What a great idea, sorry. And what's that you're putting in there with turmeric? That one's turmeric, yeah. Turmeric with what? Oat milk, and cinnamon. Oat milk, turmeric. Should we try it? We're going to have two. Just touching up in the mirror. It's a new product, not out yet though. So, um, even though I love their cappuccino, it's a warm day, so actually, uh, Lulu and I are having almond milk, which they make fresh with their own dates. We have to stop here. Um, and uh, turmeric and honey. Delicious. Really refreshing, isn't it? This shop has been here since I was a teenager. Ad hoc. And when the King's Road was really that kind of 1978 punk, you'd come up the street and there would be a ton of punk rockers um, and it's had these decades. The King's Road in the 60s was very much Beatlemania. And this building behind you was actually a really big hangout. It was uh, the old uh, cinemas there, but there was an old habitat there. And before that, something else. And this part of the King's Road was really busy and cool. Uh, Ad Hoc was a real punk shop launched then, I think. And you had down the end, Vivian Westwood, um, World's End, that she had a shop with Malcolm McLaren. And it had this clock that went round backwards. And it had the most incredible clothing. I remember getting these pirate um, dresses with this white, with this blue stripe on them. And they were her really cool dresses. I saw them in a vintage shop recently for such a lot of money. And I thought, I wish I kept them. Um, but they'll always have fun little things for fancy dress, for going out and being a bit mad, great little glasses, jewelry. And nothing is a hugely expensive price. So if you kind of have a, a kid who wants to have fun and teenagery and you know all they want to do is drip drop a little bit of money as they walk up the street they can drop it in there and you won't think oh my god it broke the bank so we're now at the sort of center this is where lots of people get married this is Chelsea Town Hall it's quite a famous set of steps and you can pass here on a Saturday or any day there's obviously they've had one today and just have the joy of walking past a bride and groom I always find that quite uplifting in Chelsea Town Hall, it's worth looking at what they have because they'll always have some kind of thing going on. And sometimes it's an antiques fair. Uh, they do a really great vintage clothing um, fair here, I think once or twice a year. I've been to sample sales here of Alice Tempoli, um, maybe a clothing brand like that. You might get a jewelry brand, but it's worth looking out and seeing what's coming up next. This part, off the King's Road has been slightly 
brought up because there's a restaurant started here, which is a part of the Ivy chain, which is a place lots of people love to come to in Chelsea. It's a little bit chichy. Um, for myself, I'll go to Colbert. I'll come here a little bit. This is the Ivy. An Instagrammer's dream. Let me have my picture taken kind of thing. I'm very pretty inside. Uh, it's got a beautiful big terrace. So if you want to have lunch in a garden in London and really feel like you're in a garden and not on the street scene, it has a, a very big garden at the back. Very pretty. This is a really pretty bakery called Gales. I don't know if it's just in England, but in the office, there's certain bread here we adore. And um, if I'm doing a sort of treat, especially when we were a smaller business, there are only 12 of us, I'd come in here and I'd get do a treat breakfast, the best croissant. Um, they have the most delicious granola. They have these wonderful um, flatbreads, which are my favorite flatbreads in the entire world. You've had the flatbreads, haven't you? So good, so good. Okay, we're gonna go down now. We've got only like a couple more shops to do, but still wandering down. A lot of people don't get this far down the King's Road because they think it's just become um, residential, but it's really not. There are some beautiful streets though. If you want to sort of really look at old Chelsea and, and many years ago, like in the 1800s, this was a totally separate village to the rest of London. And it was lived in by artists and people who were deemed to be incredibly bohemian. There were a lot of studios here and one of the most famous rows that has a lot of the old artist studios is called Glebe Place, which is just coming up here on um, our left. These really pretty studios all now converted into houses. I think there's probably only about one artist who still lives uh, in the studio, but higgledy-piggledy. And then if you go down this part of um, the King's Road, off here and like a few streets behind are some of the prettiest Chelsea streets. Just delightful. And it goes back down to the river. It's like a five minute walk, but definitely worthwhile to use Glee Place as your through street and just follow it around. You'll see all these enchanting um, little streets. I used to live on this street for a few years before Lila was born in the last house on the right. So, you know, when I walk down these streets with you, every millimeter is so familiar. And there's something I love about that. I feel we always go back to our roots. I spent many years not living in this area and living in Notting Hill and North Kensington. But now I'm back here. I kind of love it. Chloe's just joined us because I thought it would be really nice that we would do a little twinning in a vintage shop. So Chloe went on ahead to um, the vintage local vintage shop and she says she hasn't had much luck. So we're going to go and see if we, a fresh pair of eyes will help us. <laughs> but just so you know, on this street, it's called Old Church Street. And this is also the heart of Old Chelsea. But we'll just drop off here to the British Red Cross. When you're looking at vintage stores, What's interesting is usually you think about who lives in the neighborhood. You might just drop things off. So because this neighborhood is full of lots of kind of quite a few, quite a lot of elderly community. But, you know, there are lots of people who might have amazing 1980s clothing that they think is hideous and they get rid of it here. So you do get great things. But what they also tend to do is because they get good things dropped off here, they redistribute them in the other red shop shops. So we had a look in the Red Cross shop. There was lovely Balmain, Balmain um, A for H&M. So there are occasionally good things in there, but there wasn't, unfortunately, enough for Chloe. So we are going to go to back to Kos. So I just thought I'd very quickly show you a little bit of old Chelsea, because it's really pretty. And on the way in, just show you, this is a very sweet store. This is a little bikini shop. And I've gone in here occasionally. You can just look through the window, but it's just got lovely, swimwear and bikinis and sarongs and it isn't on the King's Road so it's difficult to know it's here but you come down Old Church Street and you'll find it and Manolo Blahnik used to be here but and here it is yes so this is a real trip that you make if you're obsessed with Manolo Blahnik um, shoes and they are a classic there is a sale going on so instead of them being 795 pounds they're 577 you pay to wear Blahnik but it's been here since he started, I think, or a few years after he started. So it's just kind of wonderful to go to an original store of a designer um, 
and right in the heart of old Chelsea. A lot of the people who live here, you know, grew up here. And I think what I love about Chelsea is it's still very, very local. You really get a sense of a community that's been here for years um, in a really lovely place to come and visit and shop and eat and get your makeup done um, and just relax. You can have a whole, a whole day here. But just through here, you see all these really, you know, cute little streets that you wouldn't know was here. We actually were going to go down this one. I just love, I don't get to walk down here enough, actually. And it brings back lots of memories, good memories. Um, this is Sir Thomas More Church here, really pretty local church. And then Glee Place, which I told you we could come down. If we came down Glee Place off the King's Road, we'd end up here. Hello! <laughs> nice to meet you! Thank you! So we'll just go down here. The river, as you can see, down there, if you look as far as you can see, that building you're looking at the very end is the other side of the River Thames. So you're really close to the river. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. And even if you're quite local to London, maybe you've discovered something that you didn't know was there. And then I'd just like to say, if you want to take your kids to the park, this is a big one because halfway through the day you might have young kids and they need to be run off. Then at the end of the street is Battersea Park, which is a fabulous London park. We are so lucky in London that we have many big parks. We have Kensington Chelsea and Hyde Park to the north here. And we've got Battersea Park right just at the end of this street on the other side of the river. And then further along, you've got Clapham as well. So in Battersea, you've got a pond you can take boats in. There's lots of things that are always going on in Battersea Park. There's a little petting zoo, which I took Lila to when she was little. And it's the most enchanting little zoo. That's at the end of the street. So that's my little tour of the King's Row. We started down there, came up here, went down the end, back of Old Chelsea, and back we are at the corner of the King's Road and Jubilee Place. Trinity London is down there. Hope this gave you a really nice tour of our local area and gives you inspiration for a lovely day out in London. Bye.